Facebook's been cutting my videos off. Okay. Hey, hey, welcome. Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. So today we're going to talk about staying tough, staying positive in tough times. You know, most of us can agree that positive thinking is important, right? It, it tends to make us feel better. It helps us be more productive and reduces stress. The problem is our lives aren't always rosy. I mean, crises happen, beyond, whether it's on a personal level or if it's something more widespread. And right now we're dealing with a doozy, right? But whether it's this coronavirus or if it's another time and another crisis, we all go through them from time to time. The reality is it's part of everyone's life and it makes keeping your spirits up tough. So if you're struggling to stay positive and hopeful when going through tough times, I have nine steps that I hope will help you. So the first one, don't put your head in the sand. <laughs> because you know what? No matter what you're dealing with, ignoring it is rarely the answer. You know what? While ignoring problems might feel good in the short term, it's going to sap your long-term positivity and it's going to come back to bite you. Plus, many of the other tips I'm going to give you today require you to at least acknowledge your circumstances, right? So this too shall pass. When you're in the midst of a crisis, it's nearly impossible to keep things in perspective because you're right in the middle of it, right? But that said, it's important to recognize that your circumstances are temporary. As things might seem dire at the moment, but try to remember that, try your best to remember that this too shall pass. And, and it will, I can promise you that. It will pass and we'll come out the other side. That's the nature of the world, right? We have to come through it. That's what's going to happen. Hey, next, make a plan. One of the single best things you can do to maintain positivity during tough times is to have a plan on how to deal with it. So when you focus on the solution rather than the problem, you're going to naturally feel more positive. You're going to feel like you're rising to the challenge. And that's going to make you feel better, right? So, And then, then the next one, think about things that you're grateful for. Even during the greatest personal turmoil, you're going to have things that you're still grateful for. Even in the worst times. I mean, say you're dealing with the death of a loved one. I know that's horrible. That's probably the worst ever, right? I went through this about eight months ago with my mom when my mom passed. And I was so grateful that even in this horrible situation, it brought my sister and I back together. We've been estranged for many years, and now we're actually working on building a relationship together. And that came out of my mom passing. So it was a horrible, horrible situation, but there was something to be grateful for still, right? There's always something. Even if it's just a tiny little thing that you can be grateful for, there's always something. When things get tough, it's vital to remember that there is good in the world. And more importantly, there's good in your life still. Even if it's a little bit, there's good in your life. So when you're struggling, take some time to list the things in your life that you're grateful for. Actually look for them because they're out there. Next one, reach out for support. Support in and support out. So reach out to loved ones and offer your support. Reach out if you need assistance too. You know, when things are dire, it's always reaffirming when people pull together and help each other. And we're all great at that, right? Take a break. Sometimes our circumstances are so dire that we're forced to think about our problems constantly. And you know what? It's okay to take a break. You can take a break from the news, social media, or other people. You don't have to be in the middle of it all the time, right? It might not be easy, but taking a break from that external stimuli is going to help you be more positive. Next one, journal your feelings. Journaling is a powerful tool in so many ways. You know, by simply giving you a place to express your fears and your concerns, a journal helps you maintain positivity outside of its pages. You know how good it feels to vent to a friend? Well, consider your journal your best friend. And you can tell it anything because your journal is not going to judge you. I mean, you can even let your mind go wild and, and journal about your worst fears, right? And, and maybe that will help you see that they're not as bad as you think. So your journal is your best friend. Um, focus on things you can control. When your world seems like it's spinning out of control, it, sometimes we can feel helpless. You know, one way to address this and stay more positive is to focus on the things we can control. So instead of fretting about the things that are out of your control, focus on making sure that you do your best job on the things that you are able to control. And then embrace distractions. 
distractions are usually the worst, right? In normal life, we're often trying really hard to learn how to avoid them or, or how to deal with them, or how to not have distractions, right? But they can be beneficial when we're struggling to stay positive in tough times. They can be good for us. And no matter how silly they seem, you should embrace distractions because that's going to help bring you joy in tumultuous times. That's going to help. And so I think that uh, I, I mentioned this the other day, but some of these Facebook memes that are actually pretty funny about the things we're going through right now, they, they can help. That Those distractions can help, right? So, hey, I have a couple of actionable steps that you can take today that I believe will help along with what I just said. I mean, these are just kind of further along with what I already said. But write down your feelings. Think about everything you're dealing with and how it's affecting you and write that down. Don't worry about grammar or spelling. Just focus on getting your feelings out of your head and onto paper. Nobody else has to see it. It's just between you and the paper. Next one, reach out. Whether you're reaching out to offer support or request it, reaching out will help you feel more like you're part of a community. And when we all work together, we can overcome anything. And then the last one, make a plan. Think about what your biggest struggle is right now and devise a plan to tackle it. Set some goals and deadlines. You're going to feel more positive by just having the plan and even more positive when you act on it. So, hey, now we'd love to hear from you. What kinds of things help you to stay positive when you're dealing with tough times? What kind of things, I mean, things are scary right now. What kinds of things are helping you get through the days and help you be positive, you know, more, more positive than negative? Anyway, please get down in the comments and share with us. I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, I really appreciate you being here with me today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.